All right, listen up. Out on that field today, you will be ready for anything. And I want you to always remember, this is the greatest team you will ever be part of. There's important work to be done. And only some able to do it. Can you make the cut? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Arithmetic Reasoning. Uh, in this question, it is asking us, or it's, it's telling us, letting us know, the cost of four rolls, so four rolls, six muffins, and three loaves of bread is $9.10. So four rolls, six muffins, three loaves of bread is nine dollars and ten cents. The cost of two roll, two rolls, and three muffins, and a loaf of bread is three dollars and ninety cents. So if we take two rolls, three muffins. And one loaf that is equal to three dollars and ninety cents. Sorry. So the question is asking us what is the cost of a loaf of bread? And let's just make sure I got that. Yeah, alright. So they want we want to know what is the cost of a loaf of bread. Alright, in this case what I'm going to do is something called, I'm going to use um, a system of equations. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, just check my real estate here, alright, we're going to take our Rolls will be R, six six will be M, lows will be L. All right. So four R plus six M plus three L equals nine dollars and ten cents. And then two rolls plus three muffins plus one loaf is equal to three dollars and ninety cents all right so what we are going to do is we want to define how much the cost of a loaf of bread is a loaf and I'm sorry for my chicken scratch but we want to find a loaf of bread and I'll put a question mark in so we can get rid of this all right and we can set up our system of equations. So, me, I really like the substitution and isolation method. Uh, bu -bu 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 three, one, L, three dollars, ninety cents. All right. So what we got to do is first, and we have to take our time, and we have to see what can we do to manipulate this. If you're familiar with system of equations, I can take one of the equations, I can multiply it by something to just make it cancel out. So what I would like to do is, I see, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, two's half of four, three is half of six, and one is like two less than three, but that's kind of cool because I want to define a loaf of bread. So I'm going to look here and I'm going to say, wow, okay, we can define a loaf of bread by the, like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the second equation and we'll just say E1 and E2. 
So I'm going to take the second equation, I'm going to multiply that by negative 2, and I'm going to get that to isolate. So we're going to forget about this for a, re a, a minute, we'll forget about that, and then we're going to multiply by negative 2, and then I'm going to show you how we can isolate equation 1, well, we isolate the three lows part. So now our new equation is going to be 4 r plus 6 muffins plus 3 loaves equals 9 decimal 1 0 and now we multiply by negative 2 so we get negative 4 rolls plus negative 6 sorry I'm going crazy with the plus symbol minus 6 muffins and then minus 2 loaves equals 390, all right, so we got to look at 390, we're going to have to double that, so it's going to be a negative number since it's multiplied by negative 2, all right, and then 390, uh, I would take 39, and I multiply it times 2, 18, 780, $7.80, 7 so negative 780, all right, so look what just happened. We manipulated the second, we manipulated equation two to get four. And let's just check our real estate. We manipulated our equation to get four R to cancel out with negative four R. So the rolls are canceled out, zero R. And the uh, six muffins, six muffins equate to zero muffins and then we're isolate, we've isolated our lobes. So we have one L equals, one lobe is equal to nine, 10, minus 780. So then you, you can just do your uh, arithmetic over here to keep everything, you know, my chicken scratch. Zero. So one load is equal to a dollar and thirty cents, and that is selection E. Um, you can go back, you can click back, and you can see. But A was basically a dollar and five cents. B was a dollar and ten cents. C was a dollar and twenty cents. D was a dollar and twenty-five cents, and E, which is our answer, is a dollar and thirty cents. All right. So systems of equations is something that you really should be. Uh, they're very thoroughly familiar with if you want to kick butt, butt on your AFOQT in the, earth, in the mathematics section. This is Keno Thomas with Keno Training Systems. Thanks for watching. I offer online Skype tutoring. I am available. You don't have to, you can, you can study with me. You don't have to struggle through this, all right? Because I have some rapid math techniques that really, really help you score and kick butt on the test. All right, talk to you guys later.